Truck rolls coal on Tesla Model 3 driver wishes he had HEPA filter. Sadly, electric vehicle drivers continue to be given the coal rolling treatment by diesel-powered truck owners in the U.S. There's no need to explain why rolling coal intentionally is not only illegal in many states but also a wrong and disrespectful thing to do on so many levels. The sad reality is this phenomenon remains a thing on U.S. roads. A Tesla Model 3 owner experienced it himself recently while driving on a freeway. In a short video shared by Nathan Nate Wiki on Twitter and picked up by Teslarati, we can see three pickup trucks blocking all three lanes in front of the Tesla, effectively preventing the EV from moving past them. As if that wasn't enough, one of the trucks also started rolling coal at one point. And the smoke was so thick that the Tesla driver could barely anything in front of the vehicle for a few seconds. Mind you, he was traveling at around 60 miles per hour, so if any obstacle had appeared in front of him, he would have had a tough time seeing it. The video captured by the Model 3's onboard camera was also accompanied by an explanation from the Tesla driver. Taking my Model 3 out on a road trip and these three jerks form a blockade in front of me and send all their fumes my direction. This should be illegal. Really wish I had a HEPA air filter right now U2026. He actually makes a good point about the HEPA high efficiency particulate air filter. Which Tesla offers as standard in combination with the bioweapon defense mode on the Model Y, Model S and Model X but not on the Model 3. Tesla CEO Elon Musk explained in the past that the HEPA filter needed for bioweapon defense mode is simply too large for the Model 3. It's worth noting that Tesla vehicles that are equipped with HEPA filters allow only clean air to enter the cabin. Regardless of the air quality outside when the bioweapon defense mode is activated. The feature debuted in the Model X SUV and Model S sedan in 2018, and was added to the Model Y in 2020. Source. Reposted and summarized from Dan Mahalisku at Inside EVS.